Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und Hallo zu einem weiteren Part Let's Play Fake Grand Order. Ich bin der Sims Mafix und wir stecken hier mitten in Hey Q, denn beim letzten Mal haben wir hier Babash und auch die Werte Murasaki hier getroffen. Sie hat hier eigentlich gesagt, dass sie gar nicht beim Grakik unbedingt mitmachen will und Babash sie nur beschützen sollte. Und äh, als dann Zuna gekommen ist, hat aber hier Babash gesagt, hey, ihr, wir müssen dich, äh, ihr müsst gegen mich kämpfen, um zu zeigen, dass euer Traum der Wahrheit ist. Ich muss sagen, ich fand das jetzt nicht so ganz nachvollziehbar. Ich finde es viel besser, hätte sich auf unsere Seite geschlagen und wir hätten irgendwie zusammen hier das ganze Massaker überstanden. Aber nun gut, liebe Leute, ich denke, in diesen Blech Shuttle können wir nur noch mit Gewalt was reinhauen. Genau das ist das, was wir jetzt auch versuchen. Es ist Zeit für unser Shimosus, äh, Shimosa bekanntes Death Battle. Und nun, liebe Leute, wird es blutig werden. Denn es ist noch Zeit für unseren ersten großen Servant Battle. Und das auf der Stage, auf, äh, um der es um alles geht, liebe Leute. Wie damals auch in eben in dem letzten Spiel von Limbo. Both sides under the dark sun. Jasper Bars. Kintoki. Off up your lives. Es fehlt nur der coole Ring Announcer, der beim letzten Mal da war. So, du, du willst hier... Ha, süß. Du willst sie äh, hier covern oder was? Ne, 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 das wird nix. Das wird nix. Dass du hier auf deine 1000 hält, das Geld, das muss man machen. Das ist nicht oh, warte. So, machen wir doch den Arzt ab hier. Und dann, liebe Leute, es ist Zeit für ein bisschen Bon Voyagen. Mein Gedanke ist jetzt nur gewesen, sollte sie es nicht in der einen Runde, äh, in drei Runden schaffen, dann sind wir natürlich ohne Buffs da und das ist natürlich übel. Aber jetzt schauen wir erstmal. Consistency, das ist unser wichtigstes. Sehr gut. 31.000 ist es voll in Ordnung. Oh, knapp und. Ich habe leider nicht Black Rail ausgerüstet. Das sehe ich, das bereue ich direkt. <lacht> Dafür interessiert mich seine Welt in keinster Art und Weise. Holy moly, was kriegst du hier alles für Boss? Okay, hat ein Damage Cut. Das wird übel. Das wird richtig übel. Also im Damage Cut, denke ich, werden wir jetzt nicht vorbeikommen. Äh, ich hoffe trotzdem, wir schaffen es irgendwie ihn zu breaken. Hm. Sollen wir... Ich überlege, ich überlege. Okay, hat aber noch, natürlich noch eine dritte Phase. Aber ganz ehrlich, ich glaube, jetzt mit dem Damage Cut, da werden wir uns jetzt echt schwer tun. Wir machen ihn jetzt. Jo. So. Haben wir gleich hier den ersten Castor Buff. Den zweiten hauen wir dann in der nächsten Runde raus. Geht schon was. Ich, ich will ihn eigentlich nur in der Runde breaken. Wenn ich ihn in der nächsten Runde nicht break, ist es mir eigentlich wurscht. Ähm, ich möchte ihn nur mal auf seinen letzten Breakball runter haben. Das wäre mir schon mal ein großer Segen. Ja, saugut, saugut. Ich hab dich definitiv unterschätzt, da Vinci. Sehr schön. So, letzte Runde. 3000 Attack Ups. So, jetzt brennt er sich selbst. So, wir müssen noch eine Da Vinci Karte haben. Bitte, bitte, bitte. Ah, zwei Da Vinci Karte. Wir haben gewonnen. Wir haben sowas von geworden, liebe Leute. Nix kann uns aufhalten. Er kann uns echt nochmal aufhalten. Also dann, tut mir zwar leid, Papa Arsch, du bist eigentlich ein guter Kerl. Aber leider ist es an der Zeit, aufzuräumen hier. Wir hätten auf den einen Castor Buff machen können. Der ist mir aber in dem Fall wurscht, weil der eine Crit, liebe Leute, der sitzt natürlich noch umso mehr. Sollte er es, er wird es überlebt haben, aber... Der sollte natürlich nochmal dick, dick sitzen. Ja, gibt's den 10.000 Attack Cups, ist mir wurscht. Genau, liebe Leute. 
das größte Genie bleibt halt leider einfach Da Vinci Chan. So, diese Sonne da hinten, Mann. Kannst du jetzt auf meine Voll Spooky, Mann. Echt schon wieder grausiges Schlachtfeld. Allein auf, dass wir halt schon wieder auf hier Horden von Köpfen stehen, Mann. Das sagt eigentlich schon alles aus, Reaktor. Das kannst du behalten. Den Müll. Und das war's. Mit unserem bis dato einzigen halbwegs verbündeten Barbarsch. Ne. It seems this contest of strength has ended with your victory, Kentucky. Lopapas, Lopapas. Charles. Du hättest ihm ein Befehlszauber geben können. Du hättest ihm einfach sagen sollen, er soll kämpfen. Es ist alles sehr doof. Es ist alles sehr doof. Du hättest ihm nur befehlen müssen. Kämpf nicht, sondern... Oder kämpf halt gegen Watanabe. What happened? Allow me to explain that tonight. The enemy servant spirit core has been shattered. It won't be long now before he departs from this world. Huh. Such as death rather than flight. Then uh, this was suicide. No, that's quite right. He threw his lot in with Kentucky, my inferior, in order to protect his master. I can see its logic. Restraint has never been my fault. My Higikiri even left the Lord Uruba and Lord Susi, two of the four in the king seriously wounded. Lady Murasaki here knew nothing of martial arts and may not have been fortunate enough to escape merely missing an arm. Come, Kasta. We have no more business here. King Tokyo has won his death match. Yes, Latsuna. Charles Babash. La Babash. <laughs> There is nothing strange about this. I could not happier with this outcome. Even as I followed my different engine instruction. I bet everything on a flash of inspiration for my soul. You there, the boy with the black hair, there's something familiar about you. It almost feels as though we are all friends. Friends who once walked side by side somewhere far, far away. Am I merely imagining things? No. No, I'm certainly not. I'm not sure that entrusting you with my undertaking is the right thing to do. I may not have been able to keep my promise to Karoko, but even so, I would ask that you protect her in my place. Please. I know. You don't gotta say it. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt her. That's it. Once you die, you must lose her master status. And Peretsuna won't have any more reason to go after her. But you knew that when you changed us, then you... Young warrior, he reminds me of nothing so much as a crimson dragon. Beautiful Eastern Automaton. Young man with the black hair. Karoko. Mm. Do not throw away your dreams. None of you throw anything at all away. Not even if that something is a dream. The most fragile fleeting thing in the world. You must not throw it away. Not failed, man. I'm but a rock spirit, recording by humanity after my dream were crushed. Which is exactly why I implore you now not to forget your own dreams, young ones. Never lose hope. It will not always be easy. At times it will be sheer agony. You may pause, you may rest. But you must never ever abandon your dreams. As long as you hold on to your dreams, You may always pick yourself up and keep moving. And taste your dreams in steel armor, forged from your own ideas. Do that and nothing will stop you. Now go. It matters not if you lose your way or suffer injury, young ones. As long as you keep forging around. Und das war's, liebe Leute. Okay, ich nehme es zurück, liebe Leute. Nun kennen wir seinen Grund, klar. Ähm, wir haben ja schon gesehen, dass Watanabe nicht so zögerlich ist wie der Rest und das natürlich einer der Gründe sein wird, wieso er verhindern wollte, dass hier 
äh, seine Master denn ins Gefecht kommt. Weil das könnte, hätte natürlich zu ihrem Tod führen können. Auf Wiedersehen, mein großer Roboter. The city of Kyo currently is in the midst of the Imperial Holy Grey War. Lately, full creatures have been prowling the city main roads. And recently, something even stranger has been uh, there. My steel caster. The steel monster was said to be a great hulking beast that stalked the streets of Kyo at night and towered over women and men alike. Now, he will never be seen again. All that remained of him is a faint mass of glittering light which shortly vanished. Following my defeat, the marks on my left hand disappeared, never to return. I do not doubt that people will be glad to hear these new rumors. They will no doubt say it was our valent officers who vanquished the red eyes steel monster. But I know the truth, the steel monster was no monster at all. The worst thing he ever did was protect me. The end. Excerpt from a diary. Alright, I shall be back later. My duties at the palace keep me quite busy when I'm not writing, you see. Oh, no need to worry about my protection. My family carriage is embedded with a special talisman, so I'll be alright with just my servants. Ich bin auch äh, immer bereit mit meinen servants. Yes, they're free here to stay as long as you like. I want a brief word of to the main Genji house. Alright, I shall see you later. Please enjoy your breakfast. Well done. Thanks, Karako. Not at all. Alright, I had best be going. She's still putting up a brave front, isn't she? Yes, I believe so. Lady Karako has been hiding her tears, but I noticed some signs of redness around her eyes. I doubt she was able to get much sleep last night. No, she's all right. Or at least if she says she's all right, that's good enough for me. I think the way I see it. Sometimes putting up a brave front's a way to help yourself to feel better. It's kind of like an armor for your heart. At least that's what I think. So I'd rather see this as Karakos fi fin finding... I suffer a damn fine set of armor. Yeah, the uh, that's how I'm choosing to see it. I see. That is a lovely way to look at it, Lord Kentucky. Ah, check it out. Pretty awesome weather we are having today. And says your dreams and steel armor, forged from your own ideas, huh? Man, that's good. That's real good. I wish I could say something that good and mean it one day. But I don't think I can. What is my dream? What is it I wanna do? It's no use, no matter how much I think about it. I kept coming up short. I mean, it may be grown up on the outside, but I'm an empty vessel inside where it counts. Things were a lot simpler back in the mountain. If I didn't like something, I'd just grab it or toss it. Laughed, I laughed, I wrestled, I ate, I slept. That's all there were to it. What's wrong with me? What it is I'm missing? It's been a few years since I was named one of Rikers for Heavenly Kings and charged with defending the city. And I still have no idea. I don't know if I'll ever be cut out to be a master. I'm empty. I ain't got no reason to fight anywhere. I want something else, something right. A dream, sure. I'll take that, give me one of those. What do you call it before, Maxi? A morphing hero? Hell, I'll take that too. The point is I ain't got any real substance to me. And Babash, he had it in spades. I really envy that. 
dreams, fantasies, and all covered in steel. I don't quite get what he meant by all that, but I could tell the shine bright, damn bright. Yeah, I think he really embodied that what you introduced me to. Mm, what was it again? Oh yeah, he was golden. Anything, Maxi? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's right. That old guy, steel guy was really golden. Außen Silber, innen Gold. Ich denke, so kann man es sagen. Ich finde schön, dass die Belohnung jetzt alle am Stück kommen und nicht immer einzeln. Also, so. Oh, Italien ist immer gut. Und Pure Prisms. So, dann haben wir das hier auch geschafft. Und es geht direkt weiter. Wir befinden uns inzwischen schon in Sektion 6, also Akt 6. Friends and Children. Freunde und Kinder. Kinder bedeuten immer Schlimmes. <lacht> Oh Leute, es, es, es wird was mit Raiko zu tun. Ich, ich prophezei, Raiko wird das kommen. Kinder. <lacht> ra, ra, ra. Leute, gut geraten. There you are. Really now, you should know better than the climb up on the roof. I swear, Kentucky must have been just like you when he was your age. I certainly never thought of him to be so rambitious. <lacht> I'm fine, Raiko. I never fall down from a roof or a wall. It's not who I am. Only pum Humpty Dumpty falls. Oh my, how awful. <laughs> so Humpty falls off the roof then. Yes, that's right. Oh wait, no. It wasn't a roof. Humpty uh, Dumpty sat on a wall. Then Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together. Oh my. Oh no, please don't be scared, Raiko. It's okay. I'm not Humpty Bumpty. There's no such person as Humpty Dumpty here. So nobody's going to hurt or get hurt, okay? Right. You're right, of course. If you say so, then it must be true. Mother believes you when you say no one will be hurt. <laughs> How very strange. I feel so much like my old self again whenever you and I speak. It's as though I've gone back to my childhood when I was still innocent in the ways of the world. Back when I was still called... Mon Jumaru and did not yet carry a sword to seek glory in battle. Of course you're still you, Yuraiko. Mon Jumaru is still there, inside you, I promise. I really think so. Hmm. You do know it's not nice to tease your mother, don't you? I'm not teasing, I can tell she's still there. Huh. If Kontoki were here right now, I think you and he would have been great friends. I swear, I don't know where the boy was wandered off. Kintoki? Do you mean Sakata Kintoki? Of Mount Ashigari? Oh my, you're so well informed. Yeah, that's him. He grew up the province of Ashigari, where he was known as Kaidomoro of Ashigari. Eh, uh, the province of Sagami. Uh, as the child of uh, Sekiro, the god of, the Mo of Mount Ashigira, he was born with incredible strength. But now, he is Kintoki. My own beloved child, Sakata Kintoki. I don't know, Raiko. I don't understand. I can't say for sure, but I don't think uh, he needs us. Huh? This kid is übrigens stubborn. I am who I am. I belong only to you. I am who I am. I am your friend, lovely Raiko, Monchimori. Hmm? It's okay, you don't have to worry about anything. Your child's all grown up. Kintoki's a warrior now. In a different time, I'm sure you would have stayed close to us. But now, he's forgotten all about you. This is so was von Daumen, this kind. So I don't need to be friends with anyone but you. This is so was von Daumen, liebe Leute. Das ist sowas von Daumen. Ich traue hier nichts und niemanden. Das kleine Kinder, liebe Leute, sind böse. 
Böse! Alle sind böse, liebe Leute. So, ähm. Wo haben wir denn? Wo haben wir denn? Gute Frage, wie nehmen wir denn? Äh, ich würde sagen, wenn wir ihn finden, ein Waverboy. Das Goku macht übrigens da Wünsche, wenn ich das mal so sagen darf. Und dann mehr oder weniger dasselbe Spielchen wie beim letzten, äh, vorletzten Mal. Ja, sieht cool aus. Und dann schauen wir mal, liebe Leute. Ich, ja, ich befürchte, jetzt geht es zum Konflikt mit Raikou. Das wird natürlich unschön werden. Oder auch nicht. Es äh, gibt genug Onis hier. Und äh, Monsters. In the dead of night, Oni appeared in the south of Hankyo. Pulsing with power, they spread fear and terror throughout the city to the rich, to the poor and the warriors alike. They cross up in the same scrape on the field as easily as hopping over a stream and lit only by the moon's pale light. See, set about doing whatever they please. Destruction, theft, subjugation. Are they make definitive they can kill to live? A horrific, a horrific roar pierced the night sky. The great beast from whose gullet it emerged could easily be mistaken for the king of all monsters. Sneering laughter echoed up and down the dimly lit street. Oni, hedonistic terror, so uh, take whatever they like from whoever they like. They are perhaps the greatest threat to those who live in queue. Though whether they are truly monsters, supernatural beings, or creatures of myth is anyone's guess. With their monstrous strength, they can destroy any wall in the path. Their four tough height shrug of steel blades as if they were the biting of flies. They are large Oni, small Oni, hideous Oni, and aristocratic, beautiful Oni. And at tonight's raid, the Oni commanding their massive muscle-bound fellows are two beautiful Oni who similar drip with bloodlust. Oh, it's shooting time! Uh, I got Rocky. Okay, uh, beautiful. Nee, ganz sicher nicht. Hehehe. Ah, so weak, so weak. You're so weak and fragile. You're pathetic. It's actually hilarious. I expect to add more from your Kyoto's. Even with a hundred swords, you're still no match for a single one of us. Pathetic! Fall back! Fall back! They're much too strong for us. Fall back! Get some of the Genji warriors here on the double. These are no ordinary Gorni. We must be. They must be ones from Mount Oe. Fall back! Get him, Turkama. Nice, nice. Very nice. So strong, yeah. But I really love how big you are, especially arms. After all. You can send a whole bunch of officers flying with just a single verb. <laughs> Keiner mag dich shooten. Go on, Tarakoma. Let's try everything in a path. <laughs> Leute, ich will die andere Uni sehen. Ich will die andere Uni sehen. Genau, Leute. Wer kann es? Ist es mein Gott, das ist klar. Wenn es um Uni geht, kannst du nur shooten geben. Oder Magical Girl Defender. Wie, wie war der Name nochmal? Well, well, listen to you. For, for somebody's in a good mood. Hell yeah, I am. I've got my power, then I know what to do with now. I've never felt better, and I owe it all to this awesome new arm you got me for me. This is exactly why you're such a great leader for all of Mount O's only shooting doji. <laughs> Whatever you're talking about, I don't lead any only. That's way too much trouble. You go right ahead and lead them if you want, Ibaraki. Ibaraki Doji, leader of Monte Oni. That sounds just lovely. You can do that from now on. Uh, uh, really? You sure? Anyway, more importantly, Ibaraki, you can use Turukama and Toshikumu as much as you like. But make sure you actually eat what you break too, okay? Otherwise, you're just being wasteful. You can destroy all the walls and demolish all the houses you like. Rip off all the arms and legs you want too. But let me say this one time and don't make me say it a second. Whatever you kill, be it human or animal, you must also eat. That is the rule. And you do know what will happen if you break this rule, right? Yeah. Say it. 
Okay, I make sure to eat everything I kill, I promise. And if I don't want uh, to eat uh, something, I won't kill it. Good. And look, Shirton, I still haven't killed anything yet. I'm just breaking things. Besides, there just isn't much uh, meat out there. Uh, that meets my uh, section standards. I swear these humans shall smell so bad it's just gross. For a moment I thought I'd found some meat bag at the Ichiro Bodibashi that looked promising, but uh, on second thought, no mind it. Oh, hey, Baraki, you're just a devil, you know that. Leute, ich, es ist so krass, man. Ich, ich sag ja, es gibt Servants, die sind halt einfach in ihrer bösen Form tausendmal besser. Ich meine, Shooten ist auch äh, als äh, hier Loot Oni nicht schlecht. Aber Leute, es ist so krass, wie sie immer mit Ibaraki spielt, um sie zu quälen. Und in dem Fall, ich weiß nicht, was mit ihr passiert, wenn sie sich in das Versprechen hält, aber ich denke mal, es wird sehr, sehr schlimm für Ibaraki werden. Und es ist halt nett, wie sie sie lenkt. Ha? That's it. Keep up the good work. I can't wait to see what you can really do tonight. I like devouring the occasional human myself. If you could uh, bring one back for me, I just loved it. Now, of course, there may not be time for that tonight. Huh? What do you mean, Shutton? <laughs> I mean, our fun's tonight going to be a little different from usual. Just this once, we're not going to be looking for pretty outfits or kidnapping pretty girls. Are gathering sparky treasures or stealing the best wine in Kia. We're not even going to play with the blonde haired blue eyed brat. Um, den Arm, den sie da bekommen hat, ist das übrigens ein Masterarm gewesen? Gute Frage. Ah, uh, uh, really? You're not? That's great. That's really great shooting. Although, this is the first time I'm hearing about not looking for treasure or touching people. So if you're not gonna play with the brat either, Why did we come down from the mountain tonight? Are you gonna eat people without me? Mm, that's nice at the sound, no. Are you even listening to me, Baraki? Oh well, I guess it's alright if you don't know. Hey, no fair, come on, Shutton, tell me. Wait, I've got it. I got something to do with that guest of yours, right? There you go, my guest and I have something we need to do here in Kyo. Isn't that right, guest? Ein Caster. Paracelsus! Okay, die Frage ist, wer von denen ist es? Also, ja, okay, Shooten wird der Master sein. Indeed, my lady. Oh, there you yeah. are. You disappeared to me again, huh? That spell from Trick of You must be handy for you. Hm? It's a pain in the ass for me. What an idiot. How he's done it. Nobody can annoy Shooten and live to see another day. He's a dead man if I've ever seen one. Not that I could care less whether he lives or dies. He's definitely got it coming to. I never liked how he showed up out of nowhere and started hanging around Shooten like it was the most natural thing in the world. Now that you've pissed off Shooten, she's gonna tear your head off like she's uh, plucking a flower. Nein, nah, Ibarak, jetzt halt die Klappe. Nee, now I gotta die there. Jetzt komm, halt die Klappe. Ah, it really is a pain in to deal with you, you know. My apologies. It won't happen again. Ja, der, jetzt komm, halt die Klappe, Schutten, äh, die Baraki. Schutten nutzt dich nur aus, Mann. Die nutzt dich nur aus. Oh, well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you, my lady. Hä? Huh? Why isn't he exploded? Why is his bone still in his body? What's going on, Schutten? Why aren't you uh, doing anything to him? I thought I was gonna get uh, to see another beautiful bloodbath. You just do whatever you think is best, right, Ibaraki? Eh, what shouldn't? If it wasn't for my guest here, we would never have made it through Kyo's bound of fear without asking the moon for help, right? I guess. Usually we can only sneak into Kyoto once a month or so. And you already used up your chance this month, so you could uh, go to the Ichimudri Bashi Bridge, right? And forget big only like Torokumo and Toshikame. We can only bring them along every six months or so if we're lucky. It's such a hassle. Who wants to deal with that? Not me, I'll tell you that. Not tonight, just one word from our guest and it all it takes. You're a good guest, I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm glad I could be of service. Master Shooting Doji. So, this is what a caster from another world is capable of. Nice, very nice. 
Oh Leute, schön, ne Master. Und das in ihrer kompletten Uniform. Das kann nichts Gutes heißen. Liebe Leute, ich würde sagen, wir werden beim nächsten Mal hier ein bisschen Spaß mit den Unis haben. Und äh, bevor wir das aber angehen, machen wir erstmal einen kleinen Cut. Und beim nächsten Mal geht es ja weiter hier mit Fake Daughter. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.